up. Look, with these gals that want to buy it, most of them are old and dignified. Social registered types, you know what I mean? They can't be trotting down a Times Square to pick out the merchandise. They gotta have some kind of uh, middleman. And that's where old Daniel comes in, you know what I mean? Hey! hey I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Up yours, you Get son of a bitch! You don't talk me that way! Get out of here! Don't worry about that. Actually, that ain't a bad way to pick up insurance, you know. It's crazy. I start like you paying that dame that you told me about double sawbucks. You know, with proper management, you could be taking home 50, maybe a hundred dollars a day. Easy. Hey, hey, Brucey, hang in there, baby. What's that? In my place with O'Daniel about two weeks ago. He ain't much of a stud either, from what I hear. All right, all right. Hey, Horse, <coughs> how about you take me to meet this Mr. Dillbird right now? What do you say? What do you say about that? Well, Joe, you're a nice guy, and actually, I'd be doing Bodie as a favor, but, you know, for what? What am I dragging my bum leg around town for, you know? I mean, tomorrow, some piece like that is liable to be scratching your back over there at the plaza, where am I gonna be, you know? Where? Oh, oh, hold on. Hold it right there. You think I'm that kind of son of a bitch? <coughs> Well, you just you just name your cut, whatever you want. You you got it right now, I swear. It's all right. What you want? Five? Ten? What? Are you kidding me? You know what? I'd ask somebody else. Well, right. There's ten right there. All right, all right. I tell you, forget it. I'll do. I'll take the ten. But when I take you over to see Mr. O'Daniel, I'm gonna have to have another ten just to cover expenses. All right? Uh, Come on. I'll buy you his coffee, huh, please? <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, let's get to Go to work.